Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is how to build a better mini bike. Well, another day, and another somewhat minor repair. I think we're missing something. Oh yeah, this mini bike needs an exhaust. This is the RB200 exhaust system from OMBWarehouse.com. It comes with the Mini 91 RLV silencer and a pretty sturdy one inch header when it goes on the bike it does a crossover to the other side I've been running these with a trumpet on the end for months with no issues however on another pipe similar to this I added some reinforcement and due to this motors somewhat violent nature It would behoove us to do something similar with this header as well. This modification was passed on to me by Zach from Zach's Pro Mod. I'm going to put a link in the description as usual. We're going to need a piece of cardboard and a permanent marker. Since we have this amazing visual aid that is the FPC power horn, we're going to use it to our advantage. Miraculously, this seems to be the same angle. That's going to help a lot. If we look at this spline, which we're trying to make, you might notice a few things. The biggest one being the clearance between the bottom of the spline and the valve cover. This is a 196 with a 14 cc head it has the champion rockers and the same extension that we have over here on the predator 212 non hemi what i'm thinking is that valve cover might be slightly higher hmm maybe I'll try to take a measurement just to check if I go from say the tip of my exhaust stud to the corner of the valve cover I'll know if the distance is the same <laughs> I'm just kidding you it's a whole lot easier to just take the pipe off and see if it fits the other one. Oh yeah we're coming right up and over 
Okay, so with yin and yang over here on the workbench, I think you can pretty much see what we're trying to do. These welds aren't beautiful, but they held. I'm going to take my marker. I'm going to mark the same two points here and there, roughly, and then I'll stencil a half moon. It's easiest if you make the marks and then pull it down to the edge of your cardboard. That way you have a perfectly straight line. Don't use an edge you cut unless you cut it straight. And then just mark it out. Pull it down to your lines. Make your mark. Now, you're going to cut it out. Make sure that everything lines up okay. It's nice and snug. And then we transfer our pattern onto a piece of cyborg meat. I'm using 8th inch steel. I'm going to take it outside, I'm going to let Big Hurt go to work, and grind this thing out the best I can. Yeah buddy, we haven't even touched it up yet. That a boy Big Hurt. I have my new spline all cleaned off and ready to weld. If it's set up in a vise, you can still see the two marks. So I'm stick welding. I'm going to have to hold it and tack it in place. That's the hardest part. I'm running 7018. Why not? I have it tacked up. I could have done a little bit better at getting my spline fit, but I'm just going to roll with it. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to be putting some tack welds. They're going to hold this thing in place. It's not going anywhere. Here you go. It just went hard with eight tacks on each side. That way I didn't add too much heat to any particular point at any given time. Next, we're going to take a look at that Mini 91. This exhaust comes with one of these one inch RLV stainless ring jobs. We'll keep that for something else. Since I already have the FBC power horn, it'd be nice to just have a pipe that could bolt on. It's a little quieter. I could just switch between the two. I'm going to put it on so that the end of the pipe comes to the bottom of the angled section and I'll be welding along these split parts here and around the end. I'll spread it out and take my time. This stuff is real easy to melt. I got it all welded and cleaned up the best it has to be. 
taped off the Mini 91. Because now, I'm going to smack it around with some of that high heat grill paint, baby. Alright, it feels like it's dry. Remove the tape. We'll see how we did. Oh yeah. Not too shabby. Let's see how this thing looks on the bike. Wham bam bla jam. Just like that. We have a nice rugged compact exhaust system that should last for a very long time. better. I don't think it's vibrating at all. I turned the filter down out of the way, but I'm not so sure I'm loving it. I think I have a smaller one. See that big puff of smoke? I thought that cleared up. But apparently, I was wrong. I'm going to have to make some adjustments. So, on the filter, I spun it around so you can see it easier, there is some, I don't know, we'll call it soot buildup, carbon, and that's coming from excess fuel that's not being burnt, so we're delivering too much. We have an idle, it will rev and it cleaned up by moving the needle down one position it was in the middle before and we'll call that position three i'm now on position number two so without changing the jets we have one more adjustment that's on the bottom side of the Makuni carburetor. See if I can get you under there. There it is. You see this little screw up here? That is for your air fuel mixture. If I turn that screw in, it will limit the amount of fuel that's in the mix and that might clear that up so I'm gonna give that a whack okay this time I turn that screw all the way in and then I backed it out one full rotation found my replacement for this filter so I'm going to remove it and trim about a half inch off the existing breather hose.
now that I have a nice clean end, I can insert my nice new filter and then secure it with one zip tie. That thing isn't going anywhere. By the time you pull the filter out, you'll end up pulling the hose right out of the breather. Well guys, there's a whole nother series of modifications that will be going on to this mini bike. But I think we're finally at a good point where we can take a test ride. Conditions are severe, but in the next video, I'll try my best. Because as always, it's a work in progress. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.